Hello, hello. So uh, I installed the Ubuntu GNOME 17.04 on my notebook and um, I was going to share a folder on it with my Windows machine but I actually failed and uh, it was on my second drive here the storage drive that I have and it's the share folder right now it's actually shared and working but uh, it didn't work in the beginning because when I right clicked on it and selected local network share and I shared it like this um, it didn't work Windows saw this folder but it couldn't access it it didn't matter what I did it just didn't work so what I had to do was install Samba and I'm going to show you how this works and I put every command I put here in uh, the video description and the first one of course is to install Samba and to do that you type sudo apt-get and install Samba oh my B key is just weird Samba and you press enter and you get a question if you want to install this and you press Y Y key for yes and then you press enter and when you, everything is done you are back in this uh, green command here and next thing you need to do is sort of create a user and a password for this Samba server and you press sudo and actually creating a password as well so smb pass wd and dash a and then the username and my username here is Stian and you press enter here because I'm not going to do this again but when you press enter here you are prompted to type a password and you press enter and then you have to type the password again to confirm the password press enter and then you are back to this prompt again and next you need to actually configure or edit the configuration file for Samba so sudo and nano is the text editor and slash etsy et <laughs> slash samba slash smb dot conf this configuration file and of course password and you don't need to type it right now because you've pre done it before when you installed Samba and you get this file and what you need to do here is to use your mouse and just scroll down to the bottom of the page and you should end up somewhere over here and what you need to do is that you need to add this share and this is just brackets and all of this text so path and I, cop I have this in the video description so you can just copy and paste it the only thing you need to change is this path and also valid users and this is the user that I created before and how do you get this path well I can actually open a second terminal here and the terminal over here and I open the file explorer so what you need to do is that you just 
let's say I take this recordings folder for this example just hold down the left mouse key or button and drag it to this window and release and you can actually delete that one and now you get the full address to this folder so what you do now is that you are going to select all of this with your mouse with the quotation marks here and you need to copy this and you need you can't do control C here it doesn't work so you need to right click here and select copy and what you do next is that you can't really use the mouse in this text editor so you just go to end so let just delete this and you have to right click here as well with the mouse and just select paste and then of course you go down the arrow keys and change the username to whatever you selected and I'm actually just going to edit this just to save it and do like this just to have the share and now you need to save this file and how do you do that well down here you can see there are a bunch of different commands and you need to do a so-called write out and you see the command for that it's the O and this arrow means control it's the control key so you press control plus O at the same time and it says file name to write like that and yes correct file and you just press enter here and now can you see it actually saved this and now you need to exit this so you can see that command here exit is x so control x like that and you are supposed to restart the samba uh, I am on Ubuntu GNOME and this command doesn't really work for me but the com command is sudo restart smbd and this should work on regular Ubuntu but it doesn't work for me so I actually have to restart the computer for it to kind of restart everything so uh, after reboot you can actually I think that this share is sort of reset so you need to go into right click on it and select local share again and share the folder and allow others to create and delete files and when that's done it's actually working because now on the Windows machine the folder shows up in the network and it also uh, you can access the folder and copy files back and forth so yeah it's a little bit tricky to get it to work so uh, yeah I hope you understood me but I put the commands in the video description so you can just copy and paste so yeah that's it for now